Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, oh, all right, let's check it out. We're good. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into the Arthur Betterby versus Caleb Smith fight. Uh, this is a good one. Um, excited to bring it to you. Um, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the boxing, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money. You don't need to do drop shipping. You don't need to do any of that extra stuff. Uh, I am your second source of income. Also, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into the fight. Um, Arthur Betterby versus Callum Smith is being made out to be a better fight than it is. Uh, Callum Smith has a couple of good wins. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. Um, but he's just not really on that level. Callum Smith fought Canelo Alvarez. And I'm not – look, Canelo is what Canelo does, right? Like, Canelo is – a pound for pound, elite, all time great, first battle Hall of Famer. Cal Smith was dominated by him, couldn't fight his fight, really wasn't competitive at any point. He got a bogus decision over John Ryder, which he probably didn't deserve. Then, besides that, he's got wins over British guys. He got a win over uh, Hassan and Dom. Okay, good win. He knocked him down, knocked him down, knocked him down. He's got a win over George Groves. Well, his resume is not that good. And to think that he's at this level, like Eddie Hearns says, this is a 50-50 fight. No, it's not. He's not even close. Look, Arthur Betabeef is 38. That's the only question mark that he has. He's got excellent feet. He's light on his feet. He's not what you think he is, right? He's not some slow, plodding guy. He's got freakish clubbing power. He uses his jab well. Like I said, he's freakishly strong. He's excellent at turning his opponents, making him fight his fight. He punishes you for three minutes of, of, of every round. He punishes you. He throws these great short little shots that are so, so heavy, so powerful. He's not like he's not what you think he is. Like people think he's a slow plotting guy that really it's easy to hit. He's none of those things. He's not easy to hit. He's got good movement. He's got excellent footwork. He moves well. He can make you miss. And Callum Smith is getting better than that, too, with Buddy McGirt. Uh, is he still with Buddy McGirt? Because if he is, Buddy McGirt has done excellent work with him. Better be does not get hit a lot. His strength is he's so strong. He's so powerful. He throws these beautiful shots. Beautiful short shots. He creates so much torque, so much leverage on these short little shots, and he can really stop you at any point. He is destroying people. He's 19 0, 19 knockouts. The only really competitive fight he was in with was Vosdick, and Vosdick is, is underrated. Better be is at that elite level, at that Canelo level. He really is. He doesn't have the resume that Canelo has, although his resume is pretty good. He's at that level. He is him. He is that dude. Better be is one of the best fighters in the world. Callum Smith isn't. Callum Smith's not a bad fighter. He's a good fighter. The Anthony Yard fight, you know, it was close and, and, and competitive, and he stopped him in the seventh, eighth round. Joe Smith, he destroyed. Marcus Brown, these are good names, and he's destroying these people. Marcus Brown destroyed. Uh, Vaz, he's just, and he's only fighting once a year now for the most part, which is what it is. He is 38, so I don't mind it. As far as Kyle Smith, if you can make him go backwards, you can take him out of his fight. His his punch output has dropped. He didn't throw a lot of fights, uh, a, lot, a lot of punches in his last fight. He didn't throw a lot of punches in the Canelo fight. So that, that historic pace, he, we're not going to see that. Like I said, he, he wants he's got a good jab and he wants to come forward. If he can't use his jab and come forward, he's easy to have. He's not gonna be able to do that in this fight. Because like I said, better beef is quicker, better beef is good at moving, better beef can avoid his shots, and better beef can hurt him. 
I don't think that Callum Smith, specifically in the Canelo fight, likes pressure. If you can pressure him, you can get him to show up. If you can get him to go backwards, you can have your way with him. Callum Smith does throw good, crisp, clean shots on the inside, right? Like crisp, clean shots. He exchanges well. He does well in exchanges. But not with this guy, right? And it's it's just stylistically, this fight is, is all wrong for him. And I, I I don't think like Eddie Hunter, I don't think these guys are on the same level. And I'm not knocking Callum Smith. I think Artur better Artur Betterbean is at an all-time great level. He just hasn't had the resume to prove it. Callum Smith. Is a B plus fighter, right? He'll he'll beat all he'll lose to all the A fighters and beat everybody else, except for John Ryder. He got the decision. I don't know that he deserved it. Cal Smith was never is not what he was cracked up to be. And I'm not saying he's a bad fighter, but we had this impression in our head that he was a pound for pound. I think his power is over. Yes, he has good power. Yes, if he lands, could he stop Better Beaver or anyone? Yes, that you know, he's got some Tank Davis or Arthur better be, but Virgil Ortiz's power where he's going to destroy you is not the case, and that's what it was made out to be. I think he's easy to time, he's easy to counter, and I, I think all of that is, is what's going to make this a stoppage victory for better be. Again, I, I don't think this fight is as close. The only question we have, I think, is better be his age. He's 38. 38 is not young. It's very, very, very old. But we haven't – the yard fight, people want to point to the yard fight. I think if yard fought Callum Smith, that's a decent fight. You know, if you guys – let's take a look at the odds. We'll, we'll, we'll get into this. The odds on, on Callum Smith are good. So if you want to make some money, you think Callum Smith can win. If you're Eddie Hearn and you think this is an even fight, bet Callum Smith. I would never do that. I'm making this simple for y'all. Out to better be on the money line times two, and out to better be by KO. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to make you about ninety dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. All right, it's going to make you uh, yeah, two hundred dollar bet's going to make you forty four dollars, and then a hundred dollar bet's going to make you forty five dollars. So forty five, forty five. It's going to make you about $90 on a $300 bet. We can bring the odds down a little bit. Uh, right? Arthur Benavid is minus 450. I was hoping it was going to be closer because a lot of people like this fight. A lot of people think this fight is close. I think that's about right. Four and a half to one, better be favorite. I think that's right. I don't think this fight's great. Arthur Benavid did not come out a little better than two to one. Yeah, I think that's about right. I think you know he knocked him out. And I'm not going to touch the over-under on this. I would probably take the over. I think he, I don't know. That's tough. I'm not touching the over under. The over under, I don't like this. The over under on this. I really don't know what round he's going to knock him out. It could be early, could be late. That depends on Smith's chin, and it depends on how much he exchanges. If he fights like Canelo, it's going to come later. If he fights like he fights his other fights and he wants to come forward, he's going to get smacked, and it could end early. But it could, it could end early either way. I guess I'm leaning towards the under now, but I'm just not touching the over under. That, that's my bet officially. Arthur better be. Minus 450 on the money line. I'm taking Better Beef and uh, Better Beef by KO. Times two, I'm taking Better Beef on the money line. And Arthur Better Beef, KO, TKO, DQ, minus 220. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please also follow me on at Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Also, please subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, you get a free T-shirt. I, there's all types of perks that's laid out on the Patreon. Uh, you can ask me to break down a fight for you. You'll get my lock of the week. You get all types of good stuff. You get my lock of the week. You get. You, you can even request I uh, break down a fight or do a scouting report on a fighter if you want the full breakdown on a fighter. Or for all that, five dollars a month plus like i said you get a free t-shirt as well you'll be the envy of all your friends it is january 8th 2024 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring